Good morning and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Tuesday morning and this morning we are talking what I meant to talk about at the weekend and then got waylaid with the power cuts. And that is the Criminal Finances Act 2017 here in the UK. Now this act was put into force in 2017, so over six years ago. And it gives the judiciary the ability to charge companies and partnerships in the UK that failed to stop employees and associates from facilitating tax evasion. Hmm. Now, this is the government that has now said that it can access bank accounts of people who are claiming benefits, of which obviously there's quite a lot now because with the cost of living crisis, and the prices of rents, etc. There's a lot of people who are working, who end up with working tax credits or universal credit or whatever it is that it's called now. So they're now benefit claimants, even although they're working full time. So does that mean that the government's got access to their bank account just in case they might be trying to defraud them? Pensioners? I mean, good grief, they've paid in all their days. It's not like they're living the life of Riley. But no, the government wants access to their accounts just in case they're defrauding the government. And in over six years, not one company has been charged under the Criminal Finances Act 2017. Does that not find, strike you as a bit strange? It certainly does to me. And seemingly, <clears throat> when HMRC were asked, they said, oh, it's a, a preventative measure. The companies know it's there. But in six years, you've not charged anyone. So the companies know they've pretty much got impunity because nobody's looking at anybody. So for the tiny percentage or the tiny amount of money you could get from benefit fraud by investigating people's bank accounts and not once have you charged a company with a law that was specifically designed after the Panama Papers came out. Mm -hmm. Remember that, that there was a big flurry and then all of a sudden it went dead quiet and it's never been heard of since. After the Panama Papers came out, there was this, do you know, flagship legislation, the Criminal Finances Act. And nobody, not one company has been charged. I think that says it all, don't you? Uh-huh. Them and those. And certainly not us. See, I'm cross. So now I'm going to go to work, do you know, and make money that gets taxed at source. Because God forbid that I would actually have a way of evading tax. Do you know, little minion like me. See, I'm so cross. So I'm going to go, I've got my, my coffee thing on up the stairs. I'm going to go and fill my flask and then I'm going to head to work. So I will catch you later.